Hey, what is up guys? It's Excuse Me, I'm Jack, and welcome back to our Chaos Theory series. That's, that's some, that's, that's quite a sentence. Chaos Theory series. That's, that's quite a bit. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to be working on our Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Um, we just did our Jurassic Park 3 one last week, and, um... I'm gonna be kind of milking this one, honestly. I'm only gonna be doing like 20 to 30 minute videos on this chaos theory. So that means I'm gonna have a lot of parts because I remember this one taking a while the first time I did it. The first time it took me like 12 hours to complete the chaos theory mode. But um, let's see how long it takes me now. I know they changed some things since the last time I played. We have the new update. And last update, or the la update before this update, was they changed some of the weather things, so it's not that difficult anymore. I'm kind of happy about that because the weather was kind of annoying every 10 seconds. <laughs> like, after you got the Mosasaur, after spending a, sh a, a ton of money, you ended up, like, having a storm or something, so you would go bankrupt for a few minutes, and then you had to make it back up. And most of the time, it was just coming back from the storms. But... Let's get into the video and let's play our Jurassic World Chaos Theory mode. This is where our journey continues. And for many, where theirs came to an end, Isla Nublar. This time, it's not just a park, it's a world. Simon Mizrani believed he could succeed where others before him failed. Maybe if he had you there to guide him, things would have turned out differently. Jurassic World. Jurassic World was to be the most desirable destination on the planet. New shows, new exhibits, and yes, new dinosaurs too. The miracles of science meets the magic of entertainment. You're not content with letting you see dinosaurs. No, you're being put smack dab in the middle of them. Incredible. Safely. That was the hope. Who's afraid of a little water? But what's swimming in that water? Well, that's another story. And if that's not enough, what about the dinosaurs nature didn't create? John Hammond had his vision, and I have mine. I'd like to think that had things been different, he and I would have been good partners. His passion combined with my business savvy. It would have been quite the team. But alas, it was not to be. And I was left to pick up the pieces of what might have been and turn it into what should have been all along. A premier world-class tourist destination. The only place on the planet where you can experience dinosaurs up close and personal. Here, people will once again discover the wonders of this world. They will have a renewed sense of life, and they will gladly, willingly, eagerly pay for that experience. Science didn't bring back dinosaurs. It brought back possibilities. Hope. This is what I see. This is Jurassic World. Okay. I just I just realized the helicopter kind of disappeared. Hey, Cabot Finch <laughs> at your service. Well, actually, I guess you're kind of at mine. <laughs> Details. I've been tasked with getting Jurassic World ready for the public. With your help, of course. We'll begin with a science center. And it will have to be powered. So get to doing the service thing. Thanks, Cabot. Okay. The music's not too loud, right? Eh, it's not too loud. Okay. So, I forgot that I have all my modded items that I kind of forgot to get rid of. Um, let's not use any of those. Let's actually not use some of them. Because this is technically still a tutorial. So I might use some of them. But, um... I 
I didn't say that this was a tutorial. This isn't a tutorial. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I can honestly put these buildings back here. I feel like that would be perfect back here. Yeah. So one. Get rid of this. Okay. Um, a science center. That's what we needed. Okay. So we can just bring this one out a bit and then just drag it alongside this. Perfect. Things are taking shape, but we need a response facility. Oh, and a paleo medical facility as well. Get it built and ready. A response and a paleo. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, that's already unlocked, right? Okay, cool. I don't need to unlock a dinosaur for that. Oh, there's the new upgrades and everything as well. That'll be so much easier to do this stuff with. And is this already connected? This is connected. All right, perfect. Damn, though. I forgot how small this map is. Okay. We have our response facility. Now we just need to do a paleo med. This one. Um. Employ for scientists. All right, cool. So let's just get a few more scientists. Uh, cheaper incubation. Cheaper expeditions. I'm going for full cheap <laughs> types of scientists because we really need that when it comes to later on because it will save us a lot of money. Um, I did that in the first and I did that in the second. Um, In the second, um, what do you call it? Um, or I did that in the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic, yeah, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park San Diego modes. You can really turn this into an aquarium and build parks around it. That'd be perfect. Okay, I need to make a response facility. So if we can just do that one, like. Mm. I don't know where I want to do this one. Just do it like right here. Like right here. Okay. And then we can make our paleo medical on right here. That. Perfect. Okay. Connect these. Okay, I think it auto snapped there. Oh well. Okay, cool. I want to see if I can fit my expedition center right here, though. I don't know about that. Oh, why does my cube messed up? Oh, it's because I moved all the way to the right of my screen. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's just connect this for now. Like so. All right. Now that we have these dinosaurs, I want them placed in suitable enclosures. These assets are central to our operation. No dinosaurs, central. no Jurassic World. Please remember this and act accordingly. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we are actually getting some of these guys. Um, what is this? Is this a modded item? I don't know if this is a modded item. They're guest gates. I don't know how guest gates work in the mods. Okay, so we have Enclosaurus and a Triceratops. Those two don't like each other, right? I think those two don't like each other. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make one enclosure right here. And then I'm gonna leave some space for the shops. Okay. Okay, and 
this one can go out a bit like that and go out this way okay and then we're just gonna improvise here which i think should work a bit there we go and then we can just split these enclosures up into two. So this is our Ankylosaurus and this is our Triceratops because I don't think they get along. Um, and then we're gonna have our T-Rex. Okay, let's transport you right here. Transit has commenced. Asset in transit. Okay. And then we're gonna have our T-Rex over here where it is in the movie. Not movie accurate, but I'm going to keep it around this area, uh, meaning I need to actually figure out this angle so I could make the fence not like completely broken. Ooh, you know what I can actually do? Hold up, give me a second. I can... Has been delivered. Do we have viewing galleries yet? Delivery complete. Oh god. Oh god. This is broken. Okay. We can do something like this. Okay. Uh, why are we getting threats? Oh, that's not supposed to be on. Give me a second. Oh, wait. This... I forgot which one that I use. Oh. Um. Let's just put a gate here. And let's put a gate here. Okay, we have nine seconds on that one. So let me get this as quick as possible right here because this is kind of going to bug me. The post. No, fuck, I didn't mean to click that. Okay. Um. Go right here. Okay. Ranger team? Mobile unit? Yes, I love how this can just be connected to that now. That makes it so much better. <laughs> okay. The issue is R-T-Rex is going to actually be the next dinosaur to be transported so that's kind of scary because i don't have something done for him but i have something done for the others okay let's connect that one there um i messed this up i messed this up so badly i messed it up so badly okay let's connect that there Hurry up. okay What is this angle that it's giving me? This angle is weird. Did you just use one of their angles? Did I just like... Yeah, I can get you guys. Commencing asset transit. I don't know what their angles are. Um, what are you missing? going. 
Asset delivery confirmed. Cyan grows. Okay, and then we have the asset timers. transported. Asset transportation complete. You just need to explore a bit, right? Cool. Perfect for you guys. I need to fix this, but I'll fix that later. Shit. Okay. Um. Yeah, give me another two minutes on this one. Hold up. Um. I'm still trying to fi figure out the enclosure for this one. It's so annoying, but oh well. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I get there. We can just do this. are terrible on this map. Okay. Like that one. Like that one. Like that one. Two. You know what we can do? We can do this. Oh yeah. Take our fences, keep the middle ones. We have 29 seconds to do this. Okay. This whole park is going to be uneven. Oh my god. What is this enclosure? Oh well. Um. You know what, just asset transportation in progress. The T Rex doesn't need this much space, right? I don't think so. This one down. Put this one down right here. Okay, Ranger Pope. Go there. Asset has been transported. Oh, you need power. the lower the slope is better for water right yeah okay god i forgot how bad this map is with this original terrain okay now we just need to add our sand Probably trail our sand to the vehicle. Right to the gate, the vehicle gate. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Okay. Something like that. That should be enough for that. Um, but we have our Triceratops. 
I need to have food and water. What do they eat? They eat this. Okay. Need more water. We can set them up there. And they broke the fence. They still have flares? Oh, nice. Back. <laughs> Does this work? Back. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Yo. Great, the flares make the herbivores run, right? They're just eating. They're literally just eating. Oh, I want you to prepare that. Okay, this is this is amazing. Fun. Okay. Uh let's just clear out this train a bit more. That fence will fix automatically since I fixed it like five times by now, I think only issue is that they're kind of not moving, so. It does work. Okay, let's check on our T-Rex. Missing for I'm obviously missing forest, dude. Enclosure is perfect for him. It's so big that it's actually perfect. Cool. Okay, let's divert the sand now. We go over here. Jurassic World is the envy of the world. Where else can one travel to see wonders such as these? And they must be seen. So do what you can to increase our dinosaur visibility. Yeah. So there is that. And we need our viewing galleries for this one. So this one could just be... I'm gonna just wait there. Okay. I wanna get that, the viewing platform. Can I get that yet? 1.5 stars. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one right there, but I'm gonna remove that one in a bit because I don't want that one. I don't want this one here. Um, because it's gonna mess with my. Uh, rating. Yeah, my rating. Okay. That one. Nice. Perfect. And then connect that to the main pathway. Oh, yeah. Need power, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, where do I want to build my power stations? Let's build them right here. Let's flatten out the terrain a bit before we do that. Okay. Now we can make some power stations, so we don't have to spend that much money on um, generators. So we can set this one actually. Actually, we can set this one like right here. Okay. Then this can go like right about here. That can be connected to that one. This can take the back pathway all the way through. 
it will be annoying to fix these if a storm happens and breaks everything though. Um, so that's the only bad part about this. Um, this can go right here. Can I oh, can't. Yeah. Um, drop that right there and drop down right there. Perfect. Perfect. Now we just have to attach this to the pathways. Which means I'm going to drag this all the way through here. And then I'm going to bring it right about here. And connect this to the board path. Oh yeah. Okay. Fast forward. We have that going down right there. We need this one to connect right here. Okay, that one's connected. Now we just need power. Oh wait, does this not? What does? We already run out of power. Oh. Why isn't this? Oh. Okay, I'm kind of stupid for not saying that. Hmm. Put that one right here, and then put this one right there. There we go. I should probably do this. I want to make sure our guests have every comfort. We should construct bathrooms and other things in strategic locations. And some emergency shelters, just in case. Yeah, we can put a shelter there. I don't think it's really necessary there, but we can put a shelter there. Oh, we know we do need to put a shelter there because they're going to want to use the restroom as soon as they get off the monorail for some reason. Put that there. That. Well, let's just do that. Okay. It's a beautiful day to open a new chapter in the history of humanity. Once these gates are open, there's no going back. We're ready, Mr. Masrani. There we go. This is it. Jurassic World. I can't help but wonder what John Hammond would think of all this. I love the music. <laughs> all right. So, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I know it was a short video. I said I'm going to keep my videos like 20 to 30 minutes long. And it's approximately 30 minutes. But, um, the next video will be released on Thursday. Uh, and I think this is like one of the best starts that I've had yeah, <laughs> in this world. I know what I'm going to do here. I Like, my design, my creative brain is kind of coming out with the part already. So I'm going to fill this in with some of the um, like pathway. Like with this, I'm just going to like create like an outline. All right. And then I'm going to fill the rest of it in with the fancy paths when I get them. And then I'm going to put some like chairs and stuff there. So I'm kind of thinking like that already, which is nice because the first time I played this chaos theory, it was, I it, I barely got the game. I, I, did, I didn't even go in a sandbox mode yet. Because the first thing I did when I got the game was I unlocked everything 100% so I can do sandbox videos. Um, which took me like 100 hours, to be honest, in like the first like three or four days. But yeah. I mean, obviously not in like the three or four days because, you know, that's a lot. But like I played nonstop the first like week, which was kind of tiring. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is um, a journey to five stars, I believe. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.